It's a mini soundbar with a mini price. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Fossey Audio A3 40 watt Bluetooth soundbar and it's pretty darn sweet. It's also ridiculously inexpensive. We'll get to that though. Now, let me tell you that it is small. It is designed for small TVs or even computer monitors or something. This size works great. You can see that sort of relative ratio of sizes. I don't know that I'd use this with a 75 inch TV or something, but you're probably gonna want something a little bit more sophisticated. This is really about giving you lots of features at a really amazing price. We'll come back to the price in a bit. Now, let me show you that in addition to having all of these different input ports, and this close-up shows you, we have HDMI, USB-A, optical, and AUX line in, and of course, DC power, but it also has wall mounts, and it even includes the screw kit, so you can actually mount it on the wall underneath your probably modestized television. One place this would be great is in a bedroom. Now, I've already hooked it up with this system, and let me just get these wires to be neat. So, it is via AUX onto my TV here, and I have a device hooked up so we can actually go, and let's see if I can get this to work. Let's go see here and here, and play. And with any luck, we will be able to watch Pulp Fiction. And unfortunately we're starting with ads, but let me tell you, one of the things that you get with this is you get a remote control. But first, let's just mute the ads. So, let me tell you, here's the remote control and you can see it's pretty straightforward and easy to use and the most important thing is that it has different input options along the top and bottom. So there's four on the top and one stuck on the bottom. Not sure why they don't have five along the top, but that's their design. And then you have these different EQ settings. It has five EQ settings bass, music, movie, game, and news. And the difference is the relative bass versus center or sort of mid-range. And that mid-range can be a game changer because all of a sudden you'll be able to hear the audio. You'll be able to hear the dialogue. You'll be able to hear what people are saying rather than it being 90% sound effects and rumbling and music. And then you can just barely hear the person talking. That's not so good. And it looks like we are in the mirror Max part here, so we're just about to start the movie. So let me unmute it and we'll get back here. So it'll jump right into some dialogue and we're not going to go too far down the film here. Unfortunately, it was a totally great film, absolutely worth watching. But while that's happening, let me tell you, well, here we go. And I can change the volume. And it gets pretty loud, and I can change EQ modes. Right, so that's movie, this is bass, this is news, and probably shouldn't have that language here, but we'll uh, just let that slide, and let's go ahead and pause this. I don't want to get in trouble with the YouTube gods of having <laughs> a movie I don't have permission to show you. So, right, so that's this, the remote control. There are duplicated functions on the side here, those four buttons. Probably you'll never use them, but if you lose your remote control, it is really nice to know that you have that as a backup. And of course, I can also switch to things like Bluetooth and watch the front. So now it's switched to Bluetooth, and so now Bluetooth. I'm going to... Grab my phone. Did you hear it even said Bluetooth? And let's just play some music. And I'm going to turn it way up on my phone to point out it gets pretty loud. And let's see, I think I could turn the volume down on the sound bar. And that's generally when you have a source that has a volume control and a playback device that has volume control, it actually tends to work best 
to turn the volume up on your source and then down on the speaker. So that's what we just did. That minimizes all the distortion you can get, but don't turn it all the way up on your source. That will give you distortion. That's not what you want. Okay, we don't wanna talk about audio. Suffice to say, it has Bluetooth, it has AUX in, it has HDMI in, but not HDMI out. So you can't use it as a pass-through. You'll have to have a TV that has the right setup, including ARC. Or you can use optical, and let me just show you, it comes with uh, RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack. This is very common, especially on older TVs, is that your audio out? And then that is AUX or audio in for this. And then here's that wall mounting kit, very nice. And it comes with an optical cable, which is a sort of interesting connection on each end. If you have the option of optical connectivity with your television, that is the way to go. It's going to give you the best quality sound. And it also includes a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter AUX cable, which I'm actually using right now to actually have this hooked up to my TV slash monitor. And let's go all the way back here to home. Let's see. I guess we just leave it there. So at least that's a bit more, a little more visually interesting, right? So let me tell you, let's see. So Bluetooth 5.0, which is the latest version of Bluetooth. So that's great. Gives you more range and better connectivity. HDMI arc, optical, AUX, USB-A. We already looked at that. The front display, the side controls, the remote control, the wall mount. We covered everything. Oh, dimensions. It is 3.3 inches deep, 2.5 inches tall, and about 18 inches long, and it weighs about three pounds. So it's not necessarily something you'll be toting from room to room, but it's pretty darn easy to work with. And if you have a TV sitting on your chest of drawers in your bedroom, it's easy to have this sitting right underneath it. It needs its own power. So you'll need two power outlets, one for this and one for your source video device, but that's pretty easy. And that's really everything. All we need to talk about is the price, and I promise you'll be blown away by the price. But before we get there, I'm gonna invite you to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click or tap on that subscribe button, and don't forget to also do that with the little bell icon so you get notifications of new content. And if you appreciated and liked this video or found it valuable or helpful, always appreciate a like or a thumbs up. Great, thank you. Now, this plus the remote is the Fosse Audio A3 40 watt Bluetooth soundbar and it is incredibly $39.99, currently minus 10%, dropping it down to $35.99 at amazon.com. That is a no-brainer way to significantly improve the sound of your computer display, of your small TV. I will just tell you, no TVs are designed for you to use them as the only audio out. Every modern TV, even little guys, are designed for you to plug in an external speaker. This is the lowest cost, simplest, easiest way to start moving your way into that world. And then from here, you can go to hundreds or thousands of dollars for huge 7.2 audio systems and stuff. But this is a nice 2.0 soundbar and it's a nice first step and it definitely could be great for a dorm room or something too. And that's all I got. So I'm gonna go back to Pulp Fiction because it's totally worth watching. And I'll hope to catch you in my next video.